Hello world, this is Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I'm showing you guys the easiest way to upload or to update your drivers. Now, if you don't know what drivers are, drivers are basically um, little things that programs use and your computer to basically work. So, if it, for example, you'll have uh, USB drives, so just updates for USB stuff. You might have a uh, different input inputs stuff like that so I'm gonna I'm have a link in the description to this little area here called free driver scan driverzone.com now there are different ways if you go to the home section right here you can actually go just optionally f find your GPS driver or joystick or anything really or you can actually just go to the download now and actually just download the program so they have three different ways. You can do an offline scan, which I'm not exactly sure how it does, but apparently it's the best for computers that are not connected to the internet. Now, I'm going to assume that you're going to use your update the drivers on the computer you're watching the video with. So, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to download the actual application. You can also run a web scan, which works with 32-bit versions of Firefox, Opera, and Internet Explorer. But I'm going to download the actual program. And that's what I suggest you. So I'm just going to save the file into my download section. And it's done already. Just going to run that. And we'll exit that. So it looks like it's just going to load so it looks like it opens up in your current drive so it has scanned my computer already as you can see here are all the drives I have installed at the bottom we have a little chat room so we can Looks like I tag chat to other people. So it looks like three drive zone experts are online now to help. But you have to create an account, I believe. So it looks like my network adapter is out of date. One of my one of my mouse is out of out of date, and a serial ATI controller, which I'm not exactly sure what that even is. And my looks like my monitor things are out out of date. So, I'm not going to go through me downing all of them, but I'll, I'll just do one of them. So, I'll do one of them that I won't have to restart. Oh, and it looks like I have some of these, too. Okay, so I'll do... We'll try... We'll try the monitor one, why not? So, we'll go up to the monitors. And... There we go. So click the little button there, and we have to go in here and just type in two words. So the F U R T H D R, and click here, download driver. So let's see where I have to create a username. So I'll create my username. So I'll just create an account. And I'm not. So now we'll have to just go through and check your email. So I'll just open up uh, Mozilla here, or, or Thunderbird. And we have our little Thing. Just open that up, and here we go. So let's create a little password. And I do not care that it's low, and I don't need that shit. Okay, save. And why not? Our password. Okay, so now I can go back to this login.
And I believe I can go to my last scan. Okay, so now we can now we can do it. Okay, so now we're gonna download the uh, update. We should be able to go down here. Download driver. I don't believe all the drivers you have to uh, uh, um, sign up for. Only certain ones. So this is one of them. So we're gonna have the download going. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and resume when the download is finished. Okay, I'm back. Um, I ended up actually canceling the, the download and starting a new one. That one had an estimated time of about an hour, and I didn't really feel like waiting an hour. So I have downloaded this other one. It is a motherboard update, I believe. Um, very small, so. And now we'll have this, and it just finished. It is an exe file, so now I'm just going to double click it to run. We can close that. Now I'm just going to go and do a little command cr prompt stuff. And as you have s did see, um, the drive, driver zone is actually in here. So, it actually keep, stays in the corner here. And I can right click and hit contact, all this stuff. I don't believe it installed correctly, so I'm just going to reinstall it. Oh, I think it did. Anyway, I'll do it again. So as you see, it's a pretty fast. Just goes through, does a couple of command prompt stuff, and there you go, you're done. So then that's about it. So that's about it for this video. Um, let's run the scan again. This is Dr. Control 7, I'm signing off. I uh, hope you guys liked the video, and uh, I'll have a link in the description to uh, download this program. So that's, that's about it. Uh, have a good day, and or good night. And see you guys next video.